Alright, let me just get very comfortable for this. The end of a Brighton goal. What happened to you, Brighton goal? This is going to be some sort of closure for me. Because everything on this channel is very authentic and genuine, if you haven't registered that already. And it allows me to close the chapter, whilst obviously getting my thoughts out about what recently happened. This is not... This is not a hit piece, this is not hate, this is not getting one back. This is me speaking about the events as truly as I recall them. And for me to close a chapter on something that I want to talk about because it's on my mind. There is no, I repeat, there is no private information that will be leaked. Yes, I'll be speaking about certain screenshots and I'll be reading out an email that I'm going to send to her. But there'll be no, I repeat, no private information. Mm, wonder why I emphasise that. <laughs> Alright, so as I'm talking, editors, we're going to do it like one by one. So just kind of put me on the side and put it up for them. Dear, mm, mm, nothing mentioned. You have failed to view this situation from a holistic perspective. You have failed to understand me and what I represent. And you have failed to acknowledge the utmost respect I have for you. <laughs> I told you I like doing these ones. This is why I meticulously plan things to ensure your privacy and anonymity were respected. No mention of name, ethnicity, purposely covered face and no disrespectful slash harmful comments made. So let me just give you a bit of context. So if you've seen my channel a video called Brighton Girl. It's about my experience of going to Brighton and seeing a girl from Brighton, right? So I don't know about you lot, maybe you're detectives and maybe you can hunt down on the internet and try and find out who it is, but mm, that's about one in six million probably <laughs> chance. Um, you know there's a girl and you know she's from Brighton. You have no other information about her, right? When you watch that video, you have no clue what she looks like, no understanding about ethnicity and it's just me speaking so respectfully about something that happened and the funny thing is if you've actually watched the video you would understand the utmost respect and the type of things I said in relation to that girl I'm emphasizing this in a way that's quite assertive I'm trying to be as firm but fair at the same time and I'm emphasizing this again as I said because because we'll we'll read the email and then I'll tell you why, okay? So hold on. <laughs> but you can tell something happened, right? So we'll go we'll go back to it now. If you watched the entire video, I praised you and honoured you where I interpreted everything from an unbiased neutral perspective. I expect if you had any concern I should be a comma there. <laughs> To present it in a calm and collective manner, you decided to act emotionally and irrationally. Let me say that again. You decided to act emotionally and irrationally, which was not required. My biggest concern was how this was all presented. Okay, so let me give you some context now. So again, I put the video out. And as you're going to see later down in the email and some screenshots to follow, again, no privacy will be or private information will be leaked. <laughs> you're going to kind of understand why, again, I'm talking like this because I don't have time in my life for people to come and complain about a video in such an emotional and such an irrational way as I wrote here, okay? I don't have any bit of respect or time for anyone that does that. If you have a concern, yeah, if you have a concern about something I posted, because I make sure all my videos are no information about any girl, any boy, anyone, you can look at all my videos. No private information is leaked, that's completely fine. No, nothing even in relation to them. You wouldn't even understand or have a chance to even find out about them. And I speak about all the events in a very unbiased, relaxed manner. Okay, so if you, someone ever had a problem with me, I would expect them, and as we're gonna read out in a sec, I would expect them to come and 
tell me in a really relaxed manner, oh Kiri, like, you know your video and everything, I know your channel is very authentic and everything, but I didn't, you know, that part kind of made me feel like this for this reason, and that's probably the reason why, or, or Kiri, like, as I'm going to read in a sec, whenever you get a chance, just let me know, maybe, like, I just have a slight concern about this that we can address, not, <laughs> not to what I'm going to read out in a sec. You want to come talk to me like that, and again, how this was all presented, someone wants to come talk to me in that irrational, emotional, panicky manner. I'll just sit there and laugh. <laughs> you can't talk to me like that, I swear. I, not at this stage of my life. Yeah, maybe four or five years ago, cool. But at this stage of my life, any man, woman, alien, if you have a problem with something I'm doing, no, no problem at all. I'm always, I'm always, I'm ready to hear. Just come and present it in a really relaxed, calm, collective manner. Because that's what I stand for and that's the energy I emit, right? Editors, we'll put it up again. Next part. I have the following concerns with the most recent events. When you requested to speak to me, you were extremely respectful, which I'm grateful for. Again. She was really, really respectful. I respect that. However, I can't just drop everything I'm doing to talk to you. I have people that rely on me and I have a structured routine to follow, especially at night. If anyone wants to try and call me out of the blue or essentially want to get my attention like that, you have to understand that the position and the place that I'm in my life. I have people that rely on me. I have employees. I have things to do every day. I think I'm lying. This is just, this is just from yesterday. Look at that. Just from yesterday, you can even pause it if you want to be nosy and see what I'm doing. <laughs> just from yesterday, as you know here, that's just a handful, that's another handful. Absolute madman. What I'm trying to build here is massive, okay? And every single day my brain's thinking about work, how am I going to do that, how am I going to do that? Very masculine. I'm, I'm not just talking about, I'm the real deal with this stuff, okay? I love what I do. And I want to make it as amazing as I can and offer the best value to everyone, okay? So no one can just call me out of the blue like that. No one would even dare. If you know me, you know I'm not on my phone anyways. Again, normally I would come here at what, 3, 4 p.m. And I'll be sitting here till 10, 11, 12 at night. Even a bit before that, you know what I'm doing? I'm working out for two hours. So maybe you can get me, maybe just in the morning or maybe just after I finish my workout. But I'm not going to sit on the phone and talk to you. Okay, unless it is an emergency, and that's what we're going to talk about in a sec, unless it's an emergency and someone's dying, no problem, you call me, Kiri, help, help, please, please, what's going on? No problem, if it's something like this, if there's a small concern, which is 99% of all situations, or anything which will occur, then you message me and I get back to you whenever I can, if I prioritise you, and that's if, and that's not me being prestige, there's people, even... First is most important is the three people closest to me, the girl I'm seeing, whatever, my sister and my best friend. That's it. Yeah, these three, cool. Then joint on par employees have to do that. That's it. Everyone else after. That's how I do it and that's what makes me happy. Now, <laughs> let's go with some screenshots. And again, I'll say it one more time, editors, yeah, emphasis, they'll, you know what we stand for, good vibes only, we're going to cover all the information, there'll be nothing that anyone can ever do to find out who this person is, no one's ever going to know who this person is, okay, so we're going to cover everything, we're going to, as we see here, we're going to cover the name, we're going to cover the thing, we can even cover that little, on iMessage, that little, uh, Profile picture with no one's face on it. We can even cover that as well. We can even cover this. We can cover this at the bottom. We'll cover it. Report the junk. Let's cover that as well. Everything will be covered. Yeah? <laughs> when you... Okay, I've done that. Sorry. <laughs> you refer to this as being urgent. And that's the first thing up. So we'll put that as, as I'm talking. I'm not sure about you, but when I think of urgency, I think of an emergency, i.e. someone dying or rushed to the hospital. If I said to you, it's an emergency, what are you not thinking in your head? Someone dying, rushing to the hospital, help, panic, we need help now, da-da-da. Not, 
oh, I had a, a slight problem with something which isn't even a problem to even start with in the first place. But if you see it as that, no problem. I had a slight concern with something and it's urgent. It's an emergency. Please take it down now. Change this now. Do that now. Please, please. I can't breathe. So as you can see on the first thing here, and I'm going to keep it here because, again, we're not going to expose anything. I'm going to be 100% careful with this. This is what um, is what was said here. Hello, just pick up for two minutes. Two minutes. Can you just pick up for two minutes? Not asking for a lot. Not trying to stress you. It's urgent. It's urgent. Not trying to stress you. Okay, you're kind of stressing me at this time of day. What does it say? Eleven fifty-two. I I have things to do. I have breakfast to eat. I have my day to get on. And apparently something's urgent, pick up uh, for two minutes, not trying to stress you. Well, you're stressing me and you're technically wasting my time in a very, how it was presented, intrusive and very emotionally irrational way. Can we see for a second, guys, yeah? Can we see how we could present this in a better way? Yeah, I do speak about this in a second, but here. Hello, pick up for two minutes. Can you pick up for two minutes? I'm not trying to stress you, it's urgent. The urgent's not needed. Hello. Hello, in your recent hi, hi Kiri. I hope your work. Um, I hope your day is going amazing and you're working really hard. In your recent video, I had just a small, very concerned. Just get back to me whenever you can, and, and we can talk about it. Okay. Whoa! You wanna come? You speak to me like that? Fuck me! I'm taking the video. I'm doing whatever you want. I'll refilm it for you. I'm anything. You talk to me like that, and so respectful. You know when I always say to you guys, not just about women, with everyone, especially men as well. The, the, the standards you set is what you emit, right? So it's not anything against this person. It's just they don't truly understand who I am and what I re represent. Because if they did, they wouldn't speak to me like this. Even if it was, unless it was an emergency, then no problem. But this is not an emergency. You shouldn't speak to someone like me like that. Maybe other boys, maybe other people that haven't got a sound, but me and what, what I represent and what I'm trying to do. And she knows what I'm trying to do. She knows how focused I am. She knows what I'm on and how masculine and every single day is a battle and a war for me. And my mental energy is going to be taken on this. Best believe this video is going to be made because any negative that happens to me in, in my life, I always spin it around and make it a positive. I lost time of my day. Do you know how long it took to write this email? We're not even halfway through. It took me an hour of my day just to write this dumb email. And I was like, you know, what? I'm making it into a video now. So at least I can get some growth from my channel and some positive spin, right? And got this two hours stressed out. Or oh, thinking about this when I'm working out. It was stupid. My whole, my whole day, half my day is going to shit because someone doesn't understand, doesn't respect me as a person. No way in hell. Calling people numerous times on different numbers is intrusive. If this was, and again, we'll put this uh, a screenshot here. Let me just check this on. I printed that out, I don't know. Yeah, here, I see this one now. All right, got it here. So calling people numerous times on different numbers is intrusive. If this was the other way around, it would be seen as harassment. That's true. If a guy is belling a girl da lying down, do the do, as seen as harassment, I'm sorry to say. But of course, when a girl does it, no problem, right? You must respect my time and the mental state I may have been in. So she knows what happened to me and how I was ill as well. And especially on that day, my bowels wasn't feeling the best, right? So my bowels are not feeling the best. I'm feeling vulnerable. I'm feeling like quite confused, dazed. I'm hungry. I'm stressed. I've got so many things on my mind. And as I say always, women are meant to be your peace. I repeat, if a woman comes into your life, she's meant to be your peace, especially if you're trying to build something like me, right? So a woman who's at the time kind of semi close to me, understands what I'm doing more than the average person, of course, not a stranger, more than the average person, but not like flipping, talking every day. She kind of knows what I'm on, everything like that. She knows, especially me and what I stand for being masculine, she should be my peace. When you are doing this, and you can see it on your screen right now, again, when you're doing this, everything's going to be blurred out, don't worry. Da, da, da. When you're doing this, just look at the times for me, look at the times. When you're doing this shit, this is disgraceful. And the minute I see, <laughs> the minute I see a phone call from another number, which isn't an emergency, 
that's it, you're gone anyways, and that's what I stood by. Stood by, and that's what we're gonna see in a sec. You're, you're finished, that's it, no, no coming back, sorry. Game over. Quotation marks, can you pick up? It's extremely emotional and very intense. It fails to consider what's going on in my life and comes across as very intrus intrusive. Let me know the best time to talk, get back to me when you can, as I view this concern of mine as important, it's how I expect to be spoken. Perfectly said, my friend. Perfectly said. That's how I expect to be spoken and that's how you should expect to be spoken by anyone, not just a girl, anyone. Can you pick up? Can you pick up? Can you sh What? Can you pick up? What the... Disgusting. That makes my, my belly turn. That's disgusting. That reminds me of my ex when I was 18. I'm 24 years of age now. I don't have time for shit like that. Can you pick up? Pick up for what? What's the... What's so... Why is there 100 Ps on the, on the screen right now? No, that's not right. It's, it's an emergency. It's someone dying. It's someone in hospital. No, then you don't speak to me like that. You don't. <laughs> Let's see what the next one's going to be. No, oh, this one now. Okay. Look at this one, all these sheets here. <laughs> Alright, next one on the screen. Getting your friends involved indicates extreme immaturity and vulnerability. You should be able to handle a situation by yourself and adopt a critical thinking skills. I know she may have acted on her own accord, but she's a representation of you. 100% agree. Your friends represent you, all right? So if your friends are moving mad then and they're flipping, moving like dickheads and everything, then you we can assume from a distance most people can, not in every case, but the vast majority, you're probably moving mad and you're a dickhead as well. That's how it goes. Your average of the five people you spend your time with. I hardly have any friends, <laughs> if any, for a reason, because I haven't met people on my level and I'd rather be alone for now until I meet people who stand for and represent who I am and what... Um, and essentially uh, congruent to my morals, right? Let's read out what she said. Again, blurred everything. Yeah, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, but on, on Insta, on Insta you can like see their photo, as their profile picture, okay? So that's blurred, luckily for her. Hi, this is mm, friend. Please delete that video before I report your entire channel. She doesn't want that for you, but frankly, I don't give a fuck. I'm giving it you to the end of the day before I simply go to the ends of the earth to remove your channel from existence. Ah, 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 ah. Oh my God. Ah, don't go, please. Please don't remove it from the end of existence, please. The end of existence, our oh, Thanos is gonna come down. Shut up. What the fuck, man? End of existence, what the, what is going on here? Like. I made a video about my events and respectfully and re re revealed no personal information and honoured the girl. And if there was a sm small concern of some sort that I could remove, no problem, just message me like this. And I'll have random friends messaging me about end of the universe, like they're Thanos or some shit like that. What is going on? <laughs> well, I'm giving you to end of the day. Oh, fuck, all oh, swearing at me. What the fuck's going on, bro? Do I swear other people like that? No, extremely disrespectful. How she presented her message was uncalled for and extremely embarrassing, similar to that of a child. Again, the girl's like, what, two, three years younger than me? Brain probably hasn't switched on yet, doesn't understand what's going on. To talk to me like that, I don't know what this friend maturity is saying, I don't even know who this person is coming in message requests, all right? extremely embarrassing as and of that of a child as childlike this is i expect this from 15 year olds not big 22 year olds right but everyone's at their own pace right once again was not needed very intense intrusive and offensive there we go so in every situation i always like to see it from the other person's perspective so if someone says you said this or that i'm like okay no problem i'm gonna review it myself and have a think about it 
I'm going to act congruent to my morals. I'm never going to hurt anyone. I'm never going to harm anyone. But on my channel, I speak authentically and I, I'm very genuine. And everything that happened, you saw the last video of me crying here. Oh, they're probably watching that video laughing at me. <laughs> Funny. Everything I do is just the truth, okay? And in, in life, Bad things will happen. Like, I'm not gonna hide away. I'm not gonna. Oh, don't tell. Don't tell the audience this or that. It's not about exposing anyone or doing a hit list or peace or any shit like that. It's literally this event happened. I want to talk about it. I want to get it out for my selfish mental sanity to make sure I'm clear up here so I can focus and progress. And I also want to educate and tell you a lot about some of the lessons and some of the things and maybe you can resonate with some of the standards I have at this age of my life. Okay. So this kind of relates to, again, editors, the next step. I have reviewed the video and removed any parts which I feel may aggravate you, even the, sl to even the slightest. Again, compromising, no problem. A girl, I understand maybe their reputation's more and she feels uncomfortable, no problem. I'll review it and I'll go through it in my, in my own time when I'm extremely busy. Again, you've seen how much shit and I'll... Honestly, just because I respect you as a person and what I stand for, I'll, I'll do that for you, okay? Even though you spoke to me like this and did all this shit and getting end of the universe people involved, <laughs> I will do that for you, okay? Because as again on the first line, the most respect I have for you, no problem. The video has passed the YouTube community guideline checks, which means that YouTube has no issue with it. I'm going to get my whole channel deleted apparently because I made a video about my events and I've leaked no private information. Again, if you've read, read the community guidelines, I don't violate it in any way because I haven't mentioned anything about anyone. There's no numbers there, no names in there, no public information. This could be seen as made up really, right? But apparently Miss End of the Universe here thinks, oh, well, I'm going to get my whole channel deleted. No problem, report my channel. We'll see what happens. Respectfully, you have no grounds to stand on. As no personal information or visual imagery has been presented in the video, everything has been kept anonymous on purpose because I respect you. I've gone above and beyond to change the thumbnail to ensure there's no face even present in it. I've even told my editor, my thumbnail editor, I edit, listen, it, hi up, <laughs> I'll say his name, hi up, top dog, cover her face, everything like that, nothing, please. I know we covered it before, but even make it bigger for me, my bro, yeah, like really like, honestly, because there was a problem here. He's like, no problem, I'll do it. Simple. Again, the thumbnail is being changed, even though there's nothing even to change about it. But I've done above and beyond and the video, I've taken bits out of my hard work, which represents me being authentic just because of all of this. I shouldn't even really do this, but because I respect the person wholeheartedly, no problem. And you show me a concern, no problem. In terms of my morals and everything, I'll do that for you. Respectfully, you have no grounds to stand on. As no personal information or visual imagery has been presented... Oh, I've said that, sorry. <laughs> this channel represents me and my journey and I can speak about anything I like as long as I don't display malicious intent. Didn't say one bad thing about the girl. Maybe she can see it as that, but I didn't say anything personal about the girl, anything harmful about the girl. And keep everyone's identity anonymous, even if I did, which I would never, because I'm good vibes only and I'm not like that. I don't bring people down that spread hate, nothing like that. Even if I did, everyone's identity is anonymous. No one knows anything if consent has not been provided. Of course, I didn't ask her, so that means no consent has been provided. So that means automatically everything anonymous. In all my videos, uh, unless I've spoken to the person and said, is this the right, which is not the case, everything's anonymous and that's how it goes and that's how it has to be. Because I respect other people's privacy. But I can speak about anything I like on my channel. And no one will tell me to remove a video. And threaten end of the universe and all this shit. This included covering all faces and ensuring no private information is on display. Something which I have met in regards to YouTube policy. I am very surprised and disappointed by this. Everything was very intense and emotional. In life, we must take a step back and view situations from a logical third-person perspective rather than acting irrationally. I think that's fair to say. Not everyone's at that stage yet, completely understand. Me a few years ago, if someone told me this, I'd say, shut up, what, what are you doing? To be honest, I was never really emotional like that, but to see things how I see it now in a really relaxed, cool, calm, collective manner, 
was did not exist a few years ago and this is represented of people's ages and people's different journeys so there's no hard feelings there i'm just saying in life normally if you want to have a good life and make correct decisions you take a deep breath you relax and say okay how do i feel in here rather than i delete this now from the end of the universe yeah, yeah, yeah. shut up man how this was all presented was wrong i didn't say there was an issue with what she said because I can compromise and understand, but how it was presented in this way and how all this happened and message requests and all this shit and calling me and disturbing my peace of mind, disgraceful. You've seen the numbers again. Yeah, you've seen the numbers. And the time, the amount of calls, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's an unknown number. Was that even hard? I don't think that was heard. I was doctors, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, what, six, seven calls in the space of 30 minutes. Disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful, giving toxic X vibes, all this shit. No. First time I see a phone call from a different number, that's it. So let me just quickly explain that. That different number was actually her friend's number. And I remember on the phone call, she, what she said, she was like, I think it was, yeah, 11.30. I think I like had a nap or something like that. I don't, I don't know, but I was quite dazed but anyway. Um, and she basically said, oh, now you can answer the phone now you can answer the phone or something like that and i was just like what the fucking fuck you call me from an unknown uh, from another number to just to say oh now you can answer the phone oh getting one up on me oh yeah yeah what the fuck do you not think in your head that maybe i couldn't speak at that moment in time or maybe i didn't answer for a reason don't think do you think think for a second please in a relax deep breath do you not think there was maybe a reason and then you say oh now you can answer the phone what do you mean what sort of rubbish is this man bored behavior you have violated me and what i stand for in regards to how i expect to be treated along with a few previous things when we met and i think it's best to not communicate anymore that's you may see it as harsh, but again, I've always said the standards and the respect has to come first, especially in the emphasis with women. You can't expect women to talk to you like that and for them to get away with it. So again, as I said, nothing to do with what happened after. When you call me in another number and you say, oh, now you can pick up the phone and disturb my peace. And it just gives extreme jobless vibes. I don't know what's going on in your life, but extreme jobless vibes. Very, very jobless but i would never in my whole life ever do that to anyone <laughs> not even even before myself in prima i would not do that and it basically says to me like oh this is a bit of drama that you're feeding off a bit of excitement in your life this is so stupid and so immature you're someone who i respect but this is something i cannot look past this ends here all the best kiri that's it so that's the emaro you may think it's a bit I think it's fair, but very firm at the same time. Utmost respect for the girl, calm girl, everything like that. But when you call me in another number and say, and now you pick up this time and friends involved and can you pick up and it's urgent and six calls in 30 minutes. This is disgraceful behavior. This gives off toxic, intrusive behavior. And it's, other people probably say it's not that bad. But for me, I value peace of mind. I value peace of mind so, so, so much. I meditate every day. I sit here and I put lo-fi study, hip-hop list, and it's just sounds. Downstairs, I put my Greek playlist and I just relax my mind and I'm thinking about ideas. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking with a clear head, not, oh, this has happened, this has happened. So, of course, I'm a natural human being. When this has happened, yeah, it kind of did affect my day. And I'm like, okay, cool. How am I going to spin this negative to a positive? And this is what I've done by just doing this video. And I feel a sense of relief right now. I can feel it all just leaving my body and a sense of closure for me. And now makes me, gives me a clear mind and lets me recompose and lets me go again. That's all I want to do, improve in my life. And anyone that disrupts my peace of mind and comes to me on all this bullshit, no problem, we'll just make another video about you. I'll get it all out and yeah, it helps me in the long term. So th thank you. <laughs> Last thing I want to say, let me just check this. So that's okay, that's okay. Man, I have to print this out. So, um, wasted paper on this one. Really. I don't want to be doing these things, okay? I really don't want to be doing it. I just find it so embarrassing, man. Like, I have to come and tell you lot, like these things, but 
if something's on my mind and something has affected me, I'm going to have to speak about it. How good or how bad it is, I'm sorry. Last thing here, and a few previous things when we met. So, again, not going to go too much into detail, but one thing that stands out from my events and what I remember, come to Brighton, by the time I get there, midday, whatever, cool. Surprise, she could surprise me and say, let's get some food. I'm, again, I'm not really on the going restaurants and all this shit. I, I really, really don't like that. But no no problem. We'll, we'll get some food quickly, whatever. Comes to me, um, okay, she likes my masculine energy. She likes that. I do like, I like her feminine energy as well. Comes to me and basically we're deciding where to eat, whatever. I think we're at Nando's, we missed that booking, whatever. So deciding to eat and she like we're just walking and I, I don't know the area i don't know what the fuck's here no one really told me to go on google maps or whatever maybe i should have been a bit more in hindsight maybe it should have been a bit more taking the lead desk because that's maybe what she expects from someone like me so no problem maybe i put my hands up but again you have to acknowledge the, the journey maybe i was a bit tired stuff like this to the new area she goes to me she raises her voice and i was like what when I, when I heard that, I was like, oh my fucking god, man, not, not this shit again. Similar to X, who used to shout in, in public. I hate girls that raise their voice over trivial, pathetic, small things. Anyone, even. Even boys, aliens. Disgraceful. I think that's really disgraceful for me and what I stand for to raise your voice. And she goes, oh, um, she raises her voice and she says, oh, I'm, hang I'm hangry. Hangry. Hungry and angry. Oh, you're hungry and angry. Oh, my fucking hell. There's people starving across the world. Take a deep breath, my, my, my bro, and just relax in it. What the fuck? I'm hangry. Bro, I've been starving in public or I've been about to shit myself and I'm on the train. You don't see me going, I'm hangry or whatever. I just relax because there's nothing I can do at that moment. Yeah, you're going to get food eventually, which is what happened. Right, but when you look back on 30 minutes, 30 minutes before and be like, oh, you didn't need to act like that, did you? Pathetic behaviour, and this is how the majority of people are, okay? And it's not shitting on her or anything. The majority of people are like this, and I know I'm an extreme minority, but you don't come to me and raise your voice. And, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. What, hungry, what a stupid word anyways. I'm so sorry, and I know this may be harsh, and maybe she's been watching. I do apologise, it's coming across this way, but it's the truth, okay? When you come to me, Maybe other men, maybe other men. I can't speak for them, cool. Mostly the bitch boys. When you come to me and you say, I'm hungry, and you raise your voice in, in the street, like it's my fault, like I know the area, whatever. Yeah, no problem. Maybe I should have taken the lead, got Google Maps out, we're going here, here, here. But I wasn't expecting to go and get food and do all this and that. I didn't really want to, did I? That's not what I do. So again, it's a misunderstanding, but no problem. If you're hungry, you present it again, back to the email. How this was all presented, you present this in a really relaxed manner. Oh, Kiri, I'm hungry. Like, can we like go and get find somewhere to eat? Or even make it a joke. I'm hungry, man. What are you doing? Taking the piss. Ah, oh, I'm hungry. Shut the fuck up, bro. I'm so sorry. That's that's that. We're ending this now. Don't. No. No. Goodbye. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide, all links will be down below. And if you also like one-on-one coaching sessions or like to learn from my Skillshare classes, all links down below.